Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I am joined by the real Mowgli. This what's guy up, is doing big moves on Instagram. He's killing it. He also has some nice retics, so Guys, go follow me if you haven't already. All right, you guys. So we're going through Instagram right now. We're going to be doing a couple questions and answers. Doing so. a q and I got a lot of questions here. So first, why do you always try to scare me? <laughs> <laughs> did I scare you right now? No. Uh, I, you saw it coming too, right? You saw it coming. What snake did you end up getting if you did? I'm still deciding. There's so many snakes. What do you think I'm I should try, bro? I'm trying to get him on. I think for a first snake, I always recommend ball pythons. They don't get too big and they're pretty... They're pretty nice. I want something crazy though, bro. Oh, I want something like like I was telling him. I saw at the show. I saw a carpet python mixed with a diamond python. Crazy looking, like you got to see the uh, carpet python mixed with a ball python too. Oh, I saw that. At the yeah, show. At the, I saw that. That was real cool. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think I should get? Comment right now down below. So since you already have snakes, tell them what you have. So I have retics, I have ball pythons, and I have berms, but I don't recommend anybody getting retics or berms if you don't know what you're doing, because they do get quite large. The quite large. The <laughs> largest in the world. What do you mean quite no. large? <laughs> So no, get it if you know what you're doing and you have the space. <laughs> All right, next question is asking from the Mexican Tarzan. He's asking, doesn't Mowgli wear a loincloth? And at first we were like, what is that thing? And we looked it, it up. Guys, this is what it is. Bro, <laughs> how do you wear that, bro? I wear it only on the weekends, you know. Me, I'm actually gonna hit a uh, Tarzan about it. So we gonna we gonna have something cool coming right, down. Right. Imagine you pull up wearing that. I'm gonna pull up to the uh, reptile zoo, y'all at Jay's. So y'all go check it out. Shout out Jay's place. We have to get Lord of Lion in this Q and A. He's always asking like the craziest questions. So this one's asking, what is one reptile you never want to own? So I'll go first. I would never want to own a. Okay, those things are super aggressive. Like every single video I see of them, they're always biting their fingers. People are always bleeding. So like, no, thank you. And for me, for some reason, I always have a bad experience with colubrids. So milk snakes, corn snakes, king snakes. I so for me, I personally, I would never own one. But I, I do love them. But I, I just wouldn't own one. Right. What got you on the reptile and animal hobbies? So I'll go first again. So. Ever since I was little, I've always had a passion for animals. Like, I would literally be playing with roly poles outside, any birds. Like, my friends would be playing, you know, video games or whatever, and I would just be, like, with animals. Like, it's crazy. So, as I started to grow up, I started to watch YouTube videos of Cap Cannon and just big tortoises. And then I got my first leopard gecko, like, 15 years old. And then after that, I just started from there. I just started getting a bunch of exposure to different reptiles. And basically, yeah, guys, I've always had a passion for reptiles, and I still do. So, just growing and growing, and I just love that I have this platform so I can share it with you guys. And for me, what got me into animals, honestly, Steve, when I remember at the age of four or five years old, I uh, discovered Steve on Animal Planet, mm -hmm. and from then on, it just blasted. So I started loving all animals, so like snakes, lions, tigers, you name it, I pretty much love it. So shout out to Steve Irwin, rest in peace. All right, Eric, you're up next. All right. What got you into reptiles? You know, I, I, <laughs> as a kid, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ever since a kid, you're playing Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Eric, ask us a question. How about that? All right, here's a question. If you could be any reptile in the world, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. You go first. Ooh. You go first, I don't know. All right, so if I could be any reptile in the world, I would have to be a reticulated python. Ooh. Longest species of snake, <laughs> I don't, it doesn't get much better than that. That's sick. I would be a king cobra, you know? I'd be the king of all snakes, just Dang. eating other snakes and stuff, you know? He's like being a beast. Eric, if you can be any snake in the world, what would you be? Any snake? Any snake. A ball python. Bro, I guess the, <laughs> the only snake you know, that's a problem. <laughs> that's the only snake you know. No, 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 there's a... Uh, what else, what else? There's that one, the oh, super yeah. long one. Oh, educate yeah? me, educate the me. The super long one the that super long you one? told me about, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Eric, name, name two lizards. Um, leopard gecko, okay. and then, uh... <laughs> Don't be lucky back there. Zeus, sorry, I just Zeus? That's not a lizard. Oh no, okay. Um, uh, Crested Gecko. There it hey, is. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Animal Olive <laughs> Story. Okay, Eric, thank you for joining us here. More than welcome. So, next question is asking Have you worked with venomous reptiles? So, I personally have not. Um, I just haven't had the chance yet, but I know this guy has. I actually have. I've gained pretty a pretty good experience with them. Never would I ever free handle any venomous reptile. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend it, but. It, they're, Why they're not? pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to get bit, guys. Eric, Eric, Eric. I have. I personally have. Eric, <laughs> name one venomous reptile. I don't know, dude. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting him on the spot here. All right, guys. The last thing we're gonna end off with the positive question is, what are our goals for 2019? So, Eric, what are your goals? Just personal life. Personal life. Um, name like one or two. 
do good in school, find a chance to university, mm -hmm. and then um, hopefully grow on YouTube and social media and stuff like that yep. for us. All right, and then my goals are, of course, to expand my reptile room, not only within reptiles, but with the enclosures. I plan to make all my enclosures naturalistic with my leopard geckos, crested gecko, my color lizard. So I just want to have everybody living their best life back there. And also to inspire more of you guys as well. I want to grow this platform and just educate all you guys about these awesome reptiles. So along with my brother, I also want to educate on a higher platform. I want to grow my social media and I just want to be able to travel. I'm going to be traveling a lot this year and actually I got a trip coming up with Jay. So stay tuned for that guys. So Eric, what animal you got right there, bro? Got our reticulated python here. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. What, uh, what uh, morph is it? <laughs> a brown morph. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A that I did with my boy Jalen here and Eric as well. Just thank you for <laughs> Thank you for joining me, bro. No, today. thank you for letting me come, bro. So, today's post notification shout out goes to Dylan Page. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you, Dylan. So, whoever else want a post notification shout out, be sure you turn them on and they just comment down below when done so we know who has done that. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Bye y'all.